Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can edit the Facebook covers using a free online graphic editor that's called Pixlr. So just go to pixlr.com and just click Pixlr editor right here. And now, as you can see, there's a no Photoshop folder once you unzip the file. And you'll see here all the, um, these are basically the graphics without the text. So if you don't have Photoshop, you can edit these images in Pixlr and then add the text yourself. And um, it's very simple to do, and let me show you how to do that. So first, click Open Image from the Computer right here. Then just select the file. You can see it's opened. Uh, if it's smaller, something it's smaller, make sure to double-click the Zoom tool. So it's 100%. You can see 100% right here. Um, Pixel looks very similar to Photoshop, but it's very simple. Even if you don't know Photoshop, it will be very simple for you to edit that. Um, so click the Move tool or press V on your keyboard. You can see also on the right there is a Layers um, window right here, and that's very important. And I'm going to show you in a moment. So let's open first how it looks like in Photoshop. So you can see we have the text here, Digital Facebook Marketer. And then we have here the name, uh, some quote, call to action, and e-commerce. I'm going to add all these elements uh, in Pixlr. So let's start from the name. So, so here you can select, uh, there's a type tool, or press T on your keyboard. Just click it right here, and just press and put your name. So let's do that. We can now make the size bigger, so let's make it similar to what was there. I also use the white background, white color, so I'm going to use white one. We can also change the font. Um, you can use the similar font that I used, or you can use something different. Let's use this one. Okay, click OK. In order to, to move this layer now, you have to select a move tool or press V on your keyboard. Now you have an ability to actually move the text. You can also press Ctrl Z to undo whatever you're doing. So you can also move the layers using your keyboard right here. So you can see it's very simple. And now you can see on the layers the, the text layer is selected. You can double click it somewhere here or actually we go right click and layer styles and now we can add the shadow because you can see it's the white is a bit hard to read and you can see in Photoshop we have this nice little shadow so we're going to add it right here so let's click drop shadow right here and let's move it a bit more closer so it's similar to what was there also the color was more like blue so you can pick the color from the background just click it and we can make it darker. For example, this click, you click OK, you click OK, and it's done. So you can see it's very similar to what we have done here. We can also add now the uh, the digital Facebook marketer. So let's click Type to one more time and click right here. Play it digital. Maybe let's do it big letters. Facebook Marketer. So it looks really good right now. Let's make it much smaller though. But not too small. And the color I used it was the dark dark blue, so let's do the similar thing. And again you can press the move tool, you can move it here or here, it's up to you. Let's make it as close as it was in Photoshop. Also what I added here is a smaller uh, shadow, white shadow, so again right click layer styles and let's go to the drop shadow. Let's move it very close and let's select color white. You can change the opacity so it's not as strong and that's it. We can also make it a bit bolder because it seems a bit um, hard to read or we can use a different font, maybe this one. So it's a bit easier to read. So you can look, you can see it looks really good right now. Yeah, let's go back. 
So you can see we have some quote here, so uh, let me copy the text. So let's add this kind of text somewhere here. Um, because um, we have to make sure that it's not here because there's a thumb for Facebook uh, Facebook image so make sure that's around here so we're around here so make sure it's um it doesn't overlap it okay that looks good um, you can see the color is um, Oops. The color is um, also kind of goes into the gray, okay, so something like that looks good. Also, we added in Photoshop the quotes right here and right here, so we can add them. So let's first add uh, the shadow, the one white as before. Let's now add the quote. So basically it's a quote, maybe make it bigger and color, a similar kind of color, something like uh, like this. Alright, then press the move tool one more time and we can move the, the quote. You can see we can select the layers and move them around. Uh, the layer need to be selected in the layers window in order to move it, so you cannot just select John Stewartson if digital Facebook marketer layer is selected, right? And we can also right click and click duplicate to duplicate the layer. You can see it's duplicated, copy. You can press the T in order to change uh, change the quote and we can move it around one more time. Okay? So what else? So here also we have a call to action. So it depends what kind of gift, what do you want to uh, give to the person. Right here we have click here to claim a free report. And so let's do something similar. So again, press T on your keyboard. Click the small. Click here to claim your free report. It's the claim here. Let's make it smaller so it fits. And let's do one more time. Let's maybe select the text. Yeah, unfortunately, we cannot select uh, just this text to be bolded. You have to create a new layer, but. For now, let's just do that and make it make it red. All right, so it's um it's nicely visible here. We can now move it around, move it, and um, we can also click layer styles, and let's also add some white white uh, shadow right here. You can see it looks much better now. I will make it a bit smaller. Let's do maybe, maybe 14. Oh, we cannot do and a half. Okay, let's do 14. Let's place it right here. And um, now we can add the actual e cover. So let me open it. Let me open it up here. So go to the file, open image, and just open the image um, of the e-cover, the PNG file. Okay, let me just uh, let's see. We can just uh, click, right click, or just um, Control A. So you go to the um, you can just click uh, Control A, Control A on your keyboard, then click Control C to copy the layer, and then press Control V to paste the layer. You can see it's here. 
You can now make it smaller by pressing Control T on your keyboard. Oh, actually, there's something different. Let's see. Actually, yes, it's a Control T uh, right here. And now you can uh, make sure that you have Shift. Uh, when you do that, if you if you do that without Shift, you see it's not proportional. So. Then control T, press Shift on your keyboard and just move it right here. You can make it smaller or bigger. We can also move it right away and make sure it fits nicely. And then once done, you just click Enter. You can move it however you want and uh, uh, that's pretty much it. The best way in order to e for the e-cover to be the best quality is to actually make it smaller in Photoshop or ask your designer to do it for you. So then you can just move it here and don't lose the quality because right now you can see it's a bit pixelized. It's not as sharp as it could be. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, as you can see it looks a bit different because I used a bit different font. Uh, but you can make it look quite close as it's, it's on uh, Photoshop in Pixlr. You have to just play around, but you can see adding the text layers and editing them is very simple. It's actually very similar to Photoshop, the way it's done. So once you know Pixlr, it will be very easy for you to, to edit it in Photoshop if you, if you need so. Uh, so that will be it. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, so one more thing. Um, so once it's done, all you have to do is save it. So go to the file, go to the save, and then you can save it to my computer. Uh, now the format, PNG, you can see it weighs quite a bit, 290 kilobytes. In comparison to JPEG, it's only 47. So if you use it for web purposes, make sure it's a JPEG. I also prefer to make it a higher quality if I go to 90, you can see the size does not increase that much, so I prefer 90% JPEG. Then click OK. And let's save it right here. And it's done. So now I can go back right here, and uh, you can see that's the image. You can upload it in Facebook, and it's ready to use. Also, I advise you to save the project file in Pixlr. So if you go to the save uh, format, make sure to select PXD, layered Pixlr image. This will actually save all the text layers and the e-cover layers you just added. So later on, if you want to edit the name or anything here, you can do it easily uh, using Pix PXD file. So click OK and click Save. So now if we close this window, so we close the project, not saving, now we go back again, go to the file, open image, open PXD file, you can see it's, it's again has all the layers we just created, so anytime you want to make some changes, it's very simple, you don't have to add the layers uh, you know, one more time, so that's, uh, you know, that's, very, that's very convenient to do. Okay, thank you so much for watching.